The sermon God's chosen place of worship was delivered on Saturday evening, February 20, 1965, at the Parkview Junior High School Auditorium in Jeffersonville, Indiana, USA. In Jumaelo, Indau, Eke Twengu, Ngulungkul, Yogu Konzela, Ye Tulwa, Ngumkebele, Gusilong, of February, Zinga Mashumabili, Go 1965, E Wolo, E Parkview Junior High School, E Jeffersonville, E Indiana, USA. Let's remain standing for a moment as we bow our heads for prayer. Asibe siloku simile oweska shana njengo obas kota misa makanda e tukubas kulege. Now with our heads bowed and I trust our hearts are bowed too. Futi manje na makanda e te kote me futi nge temba oguti zintli ziu zetu zi kote me futi. I wonder how many in here tonight would like to be remembered in prayer as something special. Angazo guti banga agipaga atila pagulu upsugu abanga tandu kukunju ule mkulegue ni ngoguti zi kuketegleo na. Just raise your hand and say, God, give to me tonight. Is that what I'm seeking for? The Lord bless you. Our Heavenly Father, as we now humbly approach this uh, great throne of grace, Baba by faith we move into the beyonds where God and the angels and the cherubims and all the heavenly hosts assemble together or he said there cannot be even a sparrow fall to the ground without a heavenly father knowing it how much more does he know here when hundreds of people have their heads bowed and calling upon thee for special request father look down upon the needy world tonight for we are a needy people I pray God that because that we have assembled here and expressing to thee our faith and a living God who does answer prayer. We have come out from among the world of the uncircumcised, the heart nears. Come out to live a separate life and to live in confessing our faith in thee. Tonight we've raised our hands and saying we're needy. Dear God, answer every one of their requests. And then, Father, we pray that you have visited us tonight in the Word. We come here for correction, for understanding. That we might know just how to live in this present day. What to look forward to. What to do. For we know the coming of the Lord is drawing nigh according to all the signs that the prophets foretold. We're nearing the time, Lord, when complete deliverance will be given to your children. God, let us everyone be there, Father. May there not be one missing. That's our purpose of being here, Lord. We love you and we're trying to prepare for that hour. Speak to us, we ask again tonight, and heal the sick. All the sick and the afflicted that's in the building, we pray 
that you will heal them lord bonke bagulawe nabakhatha ezekileyo sendlini sikhulekela ukuthi uzobaphulukisa inkosi and especially them with spiritual needs futhi kakhulukazi labo abanezidingo zokomoya we pray that you save our lost soul sikhulekela ukuthi uzosindisa wonke umphefumulo ohlekileyo fill every believer with the holy spirit twalisa lonke ikholo ngomoya onduele and renew the strength and power in your believing children futhi hlumelelisa ukuqina namandla kubantwana bakho abakholwayo grant these things father we ask much because you told us to ask the uh, ask abundance sipele zizinto baba sicela kakhulu ngoba wasitshela ukuba sicele celani okuningi ask for great things many of them that our joys might be made full Elani zinto ezinkulu eziningi zazo ukuze into ozo yethu igcwaliswe. And we ask them in Jesus Christ name. Amen. Futhi sizicele igameni lika Jesu Kristu. Amen. Be seated. Ningahlala phansi. I certainly deem this the grand privilege tonight to be back here at the platform again here in this high school. Impela lena ngithi inhlanhla enhle kakhulu kule ubusuku ukubuyela lapha emsama futhi lapha kule sisikole esiphakeme. The face these fine people that's gathered out to hear the gospel. Ukubhekana nalaba bantu abakahle ubuthe nephandle ukuzolalela ivangeli. I ask God's mercy to help me to tell you the truth as far as I know the truth. Ngicelo Musa uNkulunkulu kuba ngisizi kuba ngenitsha liqiniso njengoba ngilazi iqiniso. He still can close the mouth of a man as same as he could the mouth of a lion. Usengawuvala umlomo womuntu ngokufanayo njengoba wenza emlonyeni wengonyama. And if I had ever tried to say anything that was wrong and contrary to his will futhi ukuba benginga ke ngize ngizama ukuba ngisho noma yini ebili iphutha futhi iphambene intando yakhe my sincere prayer is that he close my mouth that i won't say it umkhuleko wami oqotho ngokuba avale umlomo wami ukuba nginga kusho or truly i want to be in heaven myself ukuba qiniso ngifuna ukuba sezulwini iqobo lwami but i'd never be there and besides all that i'd be a false leader somebody who had done something falsely futhi benginga soze ngaba lapho futhi ngaphandle kwakho konke lokho bengiwe ngumholi wamanga umuntu othize owenze okuthize ngamanga if i do it is because i don't know no different uma ngikwenza kungoba angazi kwehluka the lord bless you inkosi nibusise now tomorrow morning if it be the will of god i aim to speak on that subject marriage and divorce manje kusase kuseni uma kuba intando kaNkulunkulu ngihlosa ukukhuluma ngalolo daba umshado nesahlukaniso and we trust that you'll come and bring your pencils and papers futhi sethemba ukuthi nizoza futhi nilethe amapensela enu namaphepha we won't take too long but i just like the asizo kuthatha isikhathi eside kodwa nje ngizothanda uku that was my purpose of being back here first in indiana I promise you that. Leyo bekwe inhloso yami yokubuyela lapha kuqala e-Indiana ukuthi ngane thembisa lokho. And I will try tomorrow morning if I don't get tomorrow morning it will tomorrow night. Futhi ngizozama kusase ekuseni uma ngingawuthole kusase ekuseni ngizowuthola kusase ebusuku. But I'm going to try tomorrow morning if the Lord willing to speak on the subject. Kodwa ngizozama kusase ekuseni uma inkosi ivuma ukukhuluma ngodaba. The two schools of thought and may God help us to know what is truth. Imiqonde emibili efanayo futhi sengathi uNkulunkulu angasisiza ukuba sazi ukuthi yini iqiniso. Just to know what's truth so we can walk in truth and in life. Ukwazi nje ukuthi yini iqiniso ukuze sikwazi ukuhamba eqinisweni nasekukhanyeni. We you know used to have an old colored friend. Si niyazi wakuvamisa ukuba nomngani wa omdala wekhalathi. He said to me he said brother Billy he said Uh, I don't want any trouble at the river. Wathi kimi wathi mfuthi bhili wathi angifuni inkathazi emfuleni. He said I want to have my ticket in my hand. Wathi ngifuna ukuba nethikithi lami esandleni sami. And when the whistle blows I don't want any trouble there. Futhi lapho ikhwela likhala angifuni inkathazo lapho. Ask the Lord a long time ago if there's anything wrong let me set it up right now. Ngicele inkosi esikhathi neside sedlula uma kukhona ukuliphutha mangikuxazulule khona manje. Because it'll be dark and stormy on that morning. 
when the ship pulls out for the other side wathi ngoba ke bamnyama kube nesichotho ngalokho kusa lapho umkhumbi udonsa uphumela kwelinye icala that i don't want any interference i want to take care of all of it now wathi angifunesi phazamiso ngifuna ukukunakekela konke manje that's what we're here for Amen. try to take care of all the interferences so that we can walk aboard on that hour ilokho esikukhonyela apha sizame ukunakekela zonke ziphazamiso ukuze sikwazi ukuhamba sikhwele ngalelo hora now i won't speak to you very long tonight because we got two services tomorrow manje angizikukhuluma ke nesikhathi eside kakhulu kulobusuku ngoba sinezinkonzo ezimbili kusasa then i take right off somewhere else to another more services bese ngisiwa njalo kwenye indawo ngiye kwenye ezinye izinkonzo but now in the book of deuteronomy i wish to read from the 16th chapter the first three verses of deuteronomy 16 1 to 3 Godwa manje ngiwadini ka Deuteronomy ngifisa ukufunda kusukela esahlikweni seshumi nesithupha amaverse okuqala amathathu ka Deuteronomy weshumi nesithupha elokuqala kuya kwelesithathu Observe the month of Abib and keep the Passover Sina enyanga ka Abibi nilenze iPasika The Lord thy God in the fourth month of Abib the Lord thy God brought thee forth out of our Egypt by night Inkosi unkulunkulu wakho ngenyanga yesine ka Abibi inkosi unkulunkulu wakho akukhipha eEgibhithe ebusuku Thou shall therefore sacrifice the Passover unto the Lord thy God of the flocks and of the herd Ngakho uyakunikela ngephasika enkosini unkulunkulu wakho emihlambini yezimvu nezinkomo In the place which the Lord has chosen to place His name there. Endaweni inkosi eyikhethileyo ukubeka igama layo khona. Now, my subject tonight is God's chosen place of worship. Manje udaba lwami ngale ubusuku lungokuthi indawo ekhethwe ngunkulunkulu yokukhonzela. If you notice the month A B A D B there is means April. Uma uqaphela enyanga u A B A D B lapho ingu ichaza u April. The month of April is when they were brought out. Nyanga ka April iyona abakhishwa ngayo. And now the strange thing is that we tonight as worshipers of God in this day that we live in. Futhi manje into esimangana ingu ukuthi thina kulobu busuku njengabakhonzi bakaNkulunkulu kulolusuku esiphila kulo and we find so many different ideas of people futhi sithola eminingi kakhulu emiqondo yabantu ehlukene and as long as there's different ideas about things there's got different questions futhi inqobo nje uma kusekhona imiqondo ehlukene emayelana nento kukhona imibuzo ehlukene there's got to be one true answer the ever question that's asked kuzofanele kube khona impendulo eyodwa eqiniso kuwo wonke umbuzo obuzwayo if i would ask the question what is this will it say a desk ukuba bengingabuza umbuzo yini lena na au bebeze uthi i desk what is it for see hello kwenzani na niyabo now there somebody might say it isn't a desk it's a board manje lapho omunye angahla athi akusilo idesk yipulangwe well it is a board but yet it's a desk yebo yipulangwe kepha nokho idesk it see this got to be a true answer to it niyabo kufanele kube nempendulo eliqiniso kukho and if i ask the question about anything there's got to be a true answer futhi ukuba bengingabuza umbuzo nganoma yini kufanele kube khona impendulo eliqiniso there can be something close to it but there's got to be a true direct answer to every question ngahle kube khona ukuthize ukusondele kuyo kodwa kufanele kube neyiqiniso impendulo eqonde ngqo kuyo yonke imibuzo so therefore every question that comes up in our lives there's got to be a true correct answer ngakho ngokunjalo wonke umbuzo ovukwayo ezimpilweni zethu kufanele kube khona eli qiniso impendulo eyiyo and now Today we hear it said so many of our uh, people in the world today Futhi manje namhlanje sizwa sikuzwa kushiyo abaningi kakhulu babantu bakethe emhlabeni namhlanje It's been a missionary and taken several trips uh, across the sea and around the world 
Jangokubangi isi tu inyo senkolo ngitati uhambo ulu ni ngana ngamula ulu ande na simtabe ni chigelele. I've been in contact with many different religions. Ngitumane nezi nkolo ezi ni ngeze shugeneyo. Such as Buddha and Muhammad and, and Sikhs and Jains and what more uh, are the religions of the world. Jango buputa no ka Muhammad na ma six na ma chains ne zing ez ning ze zing kolo zum sha. And then here in our own United States and other foreign countries meet with all of our different churches. Besage guba parati la pa gu United States yagi tu ukobo na manyamazo ezizwe ngi sangana na u onka ma ban dagiti eswene. Such as our denominational churches. Njunga ma ban dagiti amaslelo. Beginning with the early Roman Catholic and then to the Greek and so forth and the the different rites. Kutala nge Roma katolika la kutala besege guza kwi kregi njalo njalo ne ne mikuba ya masonte shugene. And then down into the all the denominational ages of 900 and something different Protestant denominations. Besege guya pant kungene yonke iminyaga ya matlelo ya matlelo ama protestane a shugene anga makula isishia kalulu nye nendo. Now each one of them, of course you could see their idea and I cannot blame them. Manja nga linye lao kusobala unga ubona umkondo wao futi ngege nga wakitaika. Each one claims that they are the truth. They have the truth. Then, uh, the people that belongs to those churches should believe that. Because they have staked their their destination, their eternal destination, upon the teaching of that church. And they're so much different one from the other, so it makes 900 and something different questions. Therefore, being 900 and something different questions, there's got to be one correct answer. Ngakoke ngokuba khona kwemibuzo engamakhulu ayisishiyagalulu ngenento ehlukeneyo kufanele kube khona eyodwa impendulo eyiyo. And I would like for us tonight being that we're trying to go to heaven and to meet our Lord Jesus who we all love. Futhi ngizothanda ukuba thina kulo ubuso kunjengoba kungukuthi sizama ukuye zulwini ukuhlangana nenkosi yethu Jesu esimthanda sonke I would like to search in the scriptures to find that Ngizothanda ukuhlola emibhalweni ukuthola lokho Now if it is a bible question then it should have a bible answer Manje uma kungumbuzo webhayibheli it should not be able to come from a group of men, from any certain uh, 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 fellowship. Or from some educator, or from some denomination. It should come straight from the scripture. Where God's meeting place is of worship. If I nail a vele in Paluenin go, Lapo in Dagan Kulunku, Yogutangana, Ikona, Yogukonzel. And surely, being God, there is a meeting place somewhere that He meets. Footing and Pella and Pella, in Kulunkulu, Kukona, in the Yogutangan and down Dao, Athanganela Guyo. Now we find out here that in Deuteronomy, here at the beginning, Moses reciting back the scripture. Manje si atoya lapa uguti kutu toronomi lapa ekalini umosu pindu landa umpalo. The things that he had told them how he brought them out with a great strong arm out of Egypt and at first established them. Izi ndo aibetele zona uguti waiba kipika njani ngenkulu ingale na manda mepuma ekipite futi waikale wabaka. They were called the people of God until they come out of the Egypt. Babe bizwanga bantu bagankulunkulu baze baphuma ekibhithe and then they were called the church of god baseke bebizwa ngebandla likankulunkulu they called the church is a congregating ngoba ibandla lingeli ihlanganayo the word the church means called out ones those who have been called out nomeqiniso eni ibandla lithaza ababizelwe ngaphandle labo ababizelwe ngaphandle and they come out of egypt in order 
to be the church. Now God told them when they before they established the temple, whatever they did, I will choose the place of my worship and I'll put my name in it. And that's the only place that God would ever meet anybody was by his own choosing. And he chose his place, and where he chose his place, he put his name. And the second verse here tells us that. He would put his name in the place that he had chosen for people to worship him in. Now, the thing of it is, we want to find where that place is. Manje ogo yiko guko iloku. Sifunu gutolo guti leo ndao igupi. With 900 and something different ideas, being it we're bypassing all heathen religion, and just speaking of Christian religion. Ne miko ndo inga makule sishia kalulu nye nento yitlu gene. Nje ngoba siya ezula yonke nko olo ya bahete ni. Futi nje si kuluma nge nko olo yabu kristu. Which, uh, 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 have a feeling for the heathen so I certainly wouldn't be going over there talking to them but they're wrong and Christianity is the only religion that's true is Christianity I'm saying that not exactly because I am a Christian, because I believe that to be the truth. It's the only religion that's right. I've been to the grave where the white horse has changed every four hours. Where Mohammed, a great a priest and leader right after Christ. Lapo umuhamete umpristo mkulu no numuholi emva kuka Christ mpela. Was supposedly to be a prophet and I don't doubt for what he was. Right at the Maccabee brothers. Waye tato ngoguti ungu mprofeti futi anginga bazi kepa waye nguye nje emva kwa bafo wabo bagwa makapi. But when they he died he claimed that he had raised again and would Conquer the whole world. Now, about every four hours, they change guards and they keep a white horse at his grave. They have for 2,000 years expecting him to rise again and conquer the world. But you see, and you go to Buddha. Buddha lived uh, many hundred years, about 2,300 years ago, the god of, of Japan. And um, so he was a philosopher, something like Confucius and so forth. And he Confucius But all these far, uh, founders and so forth, all of them died with their philosophy and buried and in the grave. But Christianity, which is established by Jesus Christ, there is an empty tomb. He was the only man that ever stood on earth and lived and said, I have power to lay my life down and raise it up again. And the Bible says he did it. And he lives today. And we know he lives because he is with us and proves himself by physical 
signs and wonders that he promised that he would do to show it. Futi siyazu kutu ya pila ngoba, unati futu ya zifagazi, sangezi bonagaliso, nezimangaliso, zogo mzimba, atembe sukuti, uyo zenza kukukombisa. In so much as the pillar of fire that led the children of Israel through the wilderness. It's with us today. Gango kuti njenge ntika yomli leo ea ho la bantu wa nabakwa Israel ibe tabula etane ina ati na mtanji. Even having its picture taken. Sina aso ngesho isi tombe sayo estatiwe. Performing the signs and wonders that he promised it would do in this day. Enza isi bonagali iso nezmangali iso ate mbisuti iyo zenza gulo lusugu. Seeing all the words that he promised being made manifest this day. Sibona onge amazu awete mbisa e bonagali iso gulo lusugu. Therefore, the rest of heathen world is out. It's Christianity. Ngakoge wongu mshaba wabahete ni awuko ndao. Ngubu kristu. Now being that there's 900 and something questions about where God meets. Manje nje ngoba kukona mibuzo nga makule siya karulu nye nente maila nukuti. Unkulu unkulu utangana gupi. He meets with the Methodist or he meets in the Baptist and he meets in this and that and the other. Utangana ni Methodist. Nama utangana wi Baptist. Futu utangana guloku na loko na ugunye. Now there's a question there. Manje kukona umbuzo lapo. So everyone has to seek out his own salvation with fear and trembling. Ngako, wongu mtu fanela fune inti ndiso ya ke ukobo ngwe saba na ngwe tutume. But tonight, I want to try to find and prove in the scripture where the correct place is where God meets and worships with the people. Gwatu agulo upsugu ngefunu guza mugu tola futi ngefagazi sempalu enu guti indao ei yo na igu upilapo unkulu unkulu etlanga na kona futi akonze na bantu. And if that's it, that's the only place you'll ever meet. Futi umaleo gui iyo, leo iyo na ndao gupela ayoza etlanga ne guyo. Now, we took this text out of Deuteronomy. Manje si tatele tegi si gutu torunomi. It's a Greek word which uh, has a compound meaning or it means two laws. Guika amale si kregi eline zingazo e zimba tambili noma likaza imite to emibili. The Greek word Deuteronomy means two different laws. Ika amale si kregi tutoronomi kutaza imite to emibili etlugen. And that's just what God has, two different laws. Futilo konje unkulunkulu anako imiteto emibili etlugen. And one of them is a law of death and the other is a law of life. Futo munye wayong umteto ogu ufano, munye umteto ogu pila. God has two laws. Unkulunkulu unemiteto emibili. To follow him and serve him and worship him is life. To reject it is death. Ugumlande la, ugumsebenze la, ugumkonza kungugu pila. Uguwe ngaba kungugufa. There's two laws in God. Ukone miteto emibili kungkulungkulu. Now, one of those laws was made recognized to the world at Mount Sinai. Manje owotu awaleo miteto uware kukuwazi suwa ezweni entabe ni asesinai. God gave the law to Moses and Israel. Unkulungkulu wanigezu mwosu mteto no Israeli. Not if the law could help them, but the law only pointed out to them that they were sinners. Kungesi kogutu mteto wawunga basiza gotu mteto kupela wawukomba gubo guti babe izoni. Until that time they didn't know what sin was till they had a law. Gwazo kwa ba ilizo skati ba benga zoguti sone wagu hii ni bazi baba na mteto. There cannot be a law without a penalty. Kungewe biko mteto nga pande kwenye tla ulo. A law is not a law without a penalty. Mteto usi mteto nga pande kwenye tla ulo. So therefore the transgression of the law is sin and the wages of sin is death. Nje nga koge ugweka umteto kui sono Nengo kelewe sono ingu gufa So therefore until God made them a law There was no transgression reckoned to them Nje nga koge unkulu unkulu Aze abenze li umteto Wa unge kogweka ogwa gubale lwa gubo If there's no law here that says you can't run over 20 miles an hour Then you can run over 20 miles an hour Umagwe kwa mteto la pa otu ngege wa kichi manga pezu Kwa mamaye langa mashuma mabili nge hora Kona ge ubunga kichi mamaye langa mashuma mabili nge hora But when there's a law that says you can't do it Then there's a law and there's a penalty behind it Kwa tuwa nga kukonu mteto oti Ungege wa gwenza kona ge kukonu mteto ni nita ulo emva gwao Now death or the law of death was the commandments given on Mount Sinai which told man that he was a sinner. Manje ugufa, umteto ugufa, wagui miya lo, ea nigezo, entebe ni asesinai, ea chela umuntu kuti, wae soni. 
and to transgress God's law, he died. Futu weko mtoto wa nkulunkulu wa yef. But there's no salvation in the law. Gota huko ndiso mtetweni. The it was only a policeman that could put you in jail. It had nothing to bring you out with. E wawe ipo isa kupela ila linga kufake chele wawe na luto onga kukipa ngalo But then he gave another law That was at Mount Calvary Wada wasege nigezo mwenye mtetu Lapo kakusenta beni ya sege Calvary Where sin was reckoned in Jesus Christ Lapo iso no sabale lwa kuchesu Christu And there the penalty was paid Futi lapo ita ulo ya kokwa And not with without law but by grace you are saved by the grace of God through predestination of God's foreknowledge of your being Futi hai ngenga pande umtetho kodwa ngomusa nisindisiwe ngomusa nkulunkulu ngokumisela ngaphambili kokwazi ngaphambili kwaNkulunkulu ngokuba khona kwakho Now we see these two laws Deuteronomy speaking of two laws there was two laws Manje sibonele umtetho emibili uTeuteronomy ekhuluma ngemithetho emibili kwawukhona imithetho emibili One was the law of death and the other the law of life Wotu wa umtetho ukufa nomunye umtetho ukuphila There was also two covenants give to the people Awukhona futhi zivumelane ezimbili zinikwa abantu We will speak of them in the morning Sizokhuluma ngazo ekuseni One of them was given to Adam on condition Esi sodwa sazo sanikwa u Adamu ngombandela If you do this and don't do that Uma wenza lokho futhi ungakwenzi lokho But that law was broken Adam he broke that in the garden of Eden Gotha lo mthetho wephula u Adam u Eva wakwephula lokho ensimini yase Eden Then God made the second covenant and give that to Abraham and that law was unconditional Wasege uNkulunkulu enza isivumelwane sesibili wasesinika u Abraham aleso futhi lo mthetho wawungena mbandela It is not what you've done or what you will do Akusikho ukuthi wenzeni noma ukuthi uzowenzani He said I've already done it What is saying vele ngikwenzile That's great That's the law of life Lo Musa lo ngumthetho ukuphila God did that for Abraham and his seed after him Unkulunkulu wakwenzela u Abraham nenzalo yakhe emva kwakhe lokho That's all of Abraham's seed Lokho kungukuthi gonke okwenzalo ka Abraham As the Bible said all Israel will be saved Jonga we pipe ilasho wonke u Israeli uyakusindiswa But that don't mean Jews Kodwa lokho akusho amajuda As Paul said that Israel which is inward are Israel outward Jonga wa Paulo athi lo Israeli ongaphakathi noma u Israeli obonwayo Outward as we spoke of the night it was Isaac's children by sex Obonwayo njengoba sakukhuluma ngakho ngobunye ubusuku kwaku ngabantwana baka Israeli ngokuzalwa ngobulili But the law of God was through Christ which was Abraham's royal seed that by grace all Israel is saved Godo mthetho wa nkulunkulu wawu ngokristu okwenzalo yobukhosi ka Abraham ukuthi ngomusa wonke u Israeli usindisiwe That's all that in Christ is saved Oh God's second covenant Lokho ukuthi gonke lokho kukukristu kusindisiwe gonke isivumelwane sesibili sikaNkulunkulu But all these things foreshadowed Christ Kodwa zonke lezi zinto zazibikezela uKristu Now notice the second verse the second verse here in Deuteronomy 16 Mathe kaphelani iverse lesibili iverse lesibili lapho kuDeuteronomy we 10 nesithupha Worship in the place that I have chosen Ukonze endaweni engiyikhethile Now you must worship God he said in the place that I have chosen Manje ufanele umkhonzi uNkulunkulu wathi endaweni engiyikhethile Not what someone else chose but what I have chosen Hayi okukhethwe ngomunye umuntu kodwa engiyikhethile Now if God chose the place it behooves us then to find out what he said about it Amen And where is it Manje uma uNkulunkulu akhetha indawo kusifaneleke kuthola ukuthi wathini ngayo futhi ikuphi na I want to find it because truly I want to worship him Ngifuna ukuyithola ngoba iqiniso ngifuna ukumkhonza We all are here tonight to worship him Sonke silapho kulo busuku ukumkhonza We're sitting here tonight as Methodist Baptist Catholic Jehovah Witness 
Know how to do it until you know how to do it. You don't know what to do until you know how to do it, rather. You must know what you're doing and how to do it. This um, shows us that God has a meeting place for his worshipers and one certain place and that place only God meets his worshippers. Lo kukuskombisa ukuthi uNkulunkulu unendawo yokuhlanganela yabakhonzi bakhe endaweni ethize yodwa kuleyo ndawo kuphela uNkulunkulu uhlangana nabakhonzi bakhe. Now also the place he has chosen for his worshippers he claimed he would cut his name. Manje futhi indawo ayikhethele abakhonzi bakhe washo ukuba uyakubeka igama lakhe. Now let's search out and find through the scripture where this place is Manja ke sifunisise sithole embhalweni ukuthi le ndawo ikuphi Surely if God said he'd put his name in this place where he had chosen to meet the people and worship with them or them worship him rather Kaniso uma uNkulunkulu ayethe uyobeka igama lakhe kule ndawo lapho ayekhethe ukuhlangana khona nabantu futhi akhonze nabo noma bona bakhonze yena njalo It is somewhere in the Bible Or it was for all ages. And the great unchanging God cannot change. Man changes. But you can put your life upon anything that God ever said at any time. Because it is truth. It is truth. Kodwa ungayibeka impilo yakho phezulu kwanoma yini uNkulunkulu ake ayisho noma ngasiphi isikhathi ngoba iqiniso iqiniso. Because that's the only thing I can have confidence in is the Bible. Ngoba ileyonto kuphela engingaba nethemba kuyo iBhayibheli. Because man's word will fail but God is supreme. Ngoba izwi lomuntu liyohluleka kodwa uNkulunkulu ungophezu konke. This year I should know more than an old last year. You should too. Each day we're finite, so we gain knowledge. But God is infinite. He's infinite. And being infinite, he cannot gain knowledge. He is perfect to begin with. Futhi ngokuba ngongena siphelo angezuze ukwazi uphelele ukusuka nje. Every decision has to be exactly right. Sonke isinqumo sifanele sibe ngesiyiso ngqo. And the way God acted one time, he must forever act that way or he acted wrong when he acted the first time. Futhi indlela uNkulunkulu wakhe enza ngayo ufanele inguna phakathi enza ngaleyo ndlela kungenjalo wenza ngokuyiphutha ngenkathi enza kuqala. If a man ever come to God for salvation upon the basis that he accepted him on it's got to be accepted on that same basis every time right uma umuntu eke eze kuNkulunkulu efuna insindiso phezulu kwesisekelo amemukela ngazo kufanele kwemukelwe phezulu kwale zisisekelo ezifanayo ngazo sonke isikhathi kunjalo if a man ever come to god for divine healing and god accepted him upon a certain base uma umuntu eke eze kuNkulunkulu efuna ukuphulukisa kwaNkulunkulu noNkulunkulu wamemukela phezulu kwesisekelo esithize the next man comes he's got to accept in the same way or he did wrong when he accepted the first man umuntu landela ayafika ufanele amemukela ngendlela efanayo kungenjalo weza ukuyiphutha ngekathi emukela umuntu oqala god made a basis that he would meet a man on uNkulunkulu wenza izisekelo ayizohlangana nomuntu kuzo he made a basis And what he would do, how he would do it. And that is through the sacrificial blood of a lamb. 
in the garden of eden futhi lokho kwakungomhlatshelo wegazi lewundu ensimini yase eden god has never no time ever changed it unkulunkulo kakaze akukho sikhathi ake akuguqula ngaso he decided how he would save man wanqumu ukuthi wezo msindisa kanjani umuntu we tried today to educate man into it sizamile namhlanje ukufundisa umuntu kukho we tried to school him Try to educate him. Try to denominate. Sizami le kuba fundisa iskolen. Sasa magba fundisa. Sasa magushela. Try to do all these other kinds of things. Bring him in. Sasa magwanda zonka le zezinye zintabo zezinto sizingenis. Shake him in. Baptize him in. Sibanya gazi se pagati. Sibapa pati se pagati. Every other way there is. Bring him in by letters. Yonke yindlela ekhona sibangenise ngezincwadi But still remains the same Kodwa kusalokho kumile ngokufanayo God beats the man under the shed blood of the lamb Ukulunkulu uhlangana nomuntu phansi wegazi elagithekayo lewundlu Blood was God's way in the beginning and blood's of God's way tonight Igazi lali indlela kaNkulunkulu eqaleni negazi lali indlela kaNkulunkulu kulobusuku It's good to do penance and all these things but salvation only comes through blood Kuhle kwenza kuzihlawulisa nazo zonke lezi zinto kodwa insindiso efika kuphela ngegazi. Blood is the only way that God chose to save man and he cannot change it. Igazi yona ndlela kuphela uNkulunkulu akhetha ngayo ukusindisa umuntu futhi angeke ayiguqula. Job had the same thing. Job wena ente efanayo. He knew he was righteous because he had offered the the sacrifice that God had required of him. Wayazi ukuthi wayelungile ngoba wayenikele ngomhlatshelo uNkulunkulu ayewudingile kuye. Now let us search now to see what this place is and the place he put his name. Manja sihlole manje kubona ukuthi le ndawo iyini nendawo abeke kuyo igama lakhe. We're going to have to find out where he put his name. Sizodingeka sithole ukuthi ulibeke epigama lakhe. Then if we find out what God's name is and where he put it. Bese uma sithole ukuthi igama likaNkulunkulu liyini nalapho alibeke khona. Then we got the place of worship. Khonake sinendawo yokukhonzela masinya nje uma sesikutholile lokho. All these things of course is was shadows of things to come. Zonke lezi zinto kusobala kwakungamathunzi ezinto ezizayo. All the law was foreshadowing of the things to come. Wokumthetho wobikezela izinto ezizayo. Just like the moon is a shadow of the sun. Njenga nje inyanga isithunzi iselanga. It serves in the absence of the sun. Isebenza uma ilanga lingekho. Just like the church is to serve in the absence of the S O N of God. Njenga ebanda nje lisebenza uma i n d o t a n a kaNkulunkulu ingekho. In the absence of the sun the lesser life the church The believers serve God to give life in the absence of the sun. Uma indodana ingekho kukhanya ukuthe ukuba kuncane ibandla amakholo akhonza uNkulunkulu futhi anikeze kukhanya uma indodana ingekho. But when the sun rises you don't see the moon no more because it's gone down. Kodwa lapho ilanga liphuma awube usayibona inyanga ngoba isishonile. It doesn't need its light anymore because it only gets its light secondarily off the sun. Ayisakudinga ukukhanya kwalo ngoba ithola kuphela ukukhanya kwayo kancane okuvelelangeni. Now like husband and wife the sun and moon is church in Christ. Manje njengendoda nomfazi ilanga nenyanga kunjalo ibanda nokukristu. Now we find that these things be in a shadow of Christ. Manje siyathola ukuthi lesi zinto ziyisithu Every sacrifice feast and everything in the Old Testament foreshadow Christ. Wokumhlatshela umkhosi nakho konke e-Testament nelidala zazibikeze lukristu. Just as the shadow strikes across the floor. Njengesithunzi nje sibonakala phansi. Now here's where we're going to have to find the correct place of worship. Manje nakho lapho sizodinga sithole khona indawo eyiyo yokukhonzela. Is to go back here in the Old Testament where it was given and see what these things were. Ukubuyele muva lapha e-Testament nelidala lapho yanikezwa khona futhi sibone ukuthi lezi zinto zaziyini. Now when a shadow comes across the floor. Manje ngaye sithunzi sibonakala phansi. You can tell whether it's man, woman or beast or whatever it might be because it casts a shadow upon the floor. Ungasho noma isilisa isifazane noma isilwane noma kungabe yini ngoba kubonisa ngesithunzi phansi. And as that shadow gets shorter futhi lapho leso sithunzi siya ngokuba sifishane the shadow being a negative and there cannot be a negative without a positive isithombe si negative futhi ingebe bikho inegative ngaphandle kwesithombe therefore when the 
positive becomes closer to the negative, the negative is swallowed up in the positive. Ngako, nga isi tombe, si sonde la gui negativu, i negativu gui nyua isi tombe. The shara and the, uh, and the positive comes together. And that's what makes it then uh, uh, the positive. And if all the old things the Bible said in the Old Testament were shadows of the things to come, then that therefore Christ was a shadow of things to come. So we can see by the Old Testament types where he chose to put his name and uh, to for now. Now as we look at the shadow is a crosses the four I said is a negative. Being a type. So we, the worshippers, also can see the shadows of the Old Testament fading into the positive of the New. Now, all the feasts, the holidays, all the tabernacle, all the wood, everything in the tabernacle, everything type Christ. Manje yonke mikosi ya maholiti, longi tabernagele, longi kuni, gongo e tabernagele, gongo kwa kufanagi sa ukristu. All the offerings, all the laws, everything was a type of Christ. Yonke mitachelo, yonke miteto, gongo kwa kufanagi suwe nika kristu. We've been through it time after time. Here at the tabernacle. Then we see by these that every creed, church, and denomination is left far behind. It's not even in the race at all. Every creed, every church, every denomination Amen. is gone. Completely left out. There's no place for him at all. Nothing is typed in the Old Testament or anywhere in the Bible of the church but the forced unity of Babel Tower. That's the only thing that types the unity. Because it was by Nimrod, a wicked man who went out and forced all the little countries to come into one place in this great tower. That's the only thing it was a religious worship, of course, but not considered in the Word of God. So there is where you see denominational religion type, the Tower of Babel. In the Old Testament. Now the Old Testament. His name in any denomination. I want the scripture for it if it is. Amen. I know they claim he has, but he hasn't. He cannot put his name in many places because he said he put his name in one place. In that one place. Each one of our denominations won't say they are that place, but it's contrary. But where did he put his name? Now, and what is his name first? Manje 
Ubani kamala ake utalana. We'll have to name, find what God's name is before we can find what it is he's putting in the place. Sizo fanele kama, sili tole uguti, ubani kamala ika nkulunkulunga pambi kukuba, si tole uguti, yini aifaka enda wen. Now we find out that he had many titles. Mare si tole uguti, waile ziku ezi ningi. He's called, uh, he was called father. Which is a title. Ubizongo, waibizongo baba, awe isiku. And he is called son, which is a title. Futi, waibizongo ndotana, awe isiku. He is called Holy Ghost, which is a title. Waibizongo mwe ndwele, awe isiku. He is called Rose of Sharon, which is a title. Waibizongo ndepesa Sharoni, awe isiku. Lily the Valley, a title. Umduze wesikoti, isiku. Morning Star. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha. Inkanyezi yogu usa, uchehova chire, uchehova rafa. Seven different compound redemptive names, but all of them were titles. Aisi kombi isa tliwene, aitanga nisela, ama kama kutenga, na uonke aya iziku. None of them were named. Agukone si soto, sazo, esa singa, ama kama. But... He has a name. Gotwa unekama. When he met Moses, he had not a name yet. Nkaze tanga eno Moses, wewe gabina alo ikama. And he told Moses, I am that I am. Futi wache lu Moses, nginguye, nginguye. And when we see Jesus on earth, speaking in Hebrews, the sixth chapter. Futi nga sibo na uche, se mshabene kuluma kuma hepe, ruisatwa se stupa. I beg your pardon, St. John, the sixth chapter. He said, I am that I am. They said, well, you're a man out over 50 years old and say that you've seen Abraham. He said, before Abraham was, I am. And I am was the one, the burning bush, the pillar of fire that was in the burning bush. Back in the days of Moses. The I am the I am. Now we find out that Jesus said also, I came in my Father's name. And you receive me not. Futi manjezi ya toli hudu chesu wacho futi. Geza ye kameni nika baba wami. Futi aninge muge langa. Then the name of the father must be Jesus. Yes. Trank. Gako ge ika maliga ise li faneli libe ngu chesu gunjalo. The name of the father is Jesus because Jesus said yo I carry my father's name. Ika maliga ise li ngu chesu ngabu chesu wacho njalo. Gipete ika maliga baba wami. I come in my father's name and you receive me not. Then his name was Jesus. And Gabriel called him Jesus. The prophets called him Jesus. And he was absolutely Jesus. No Gabriel was Jesus. No Jesus. No prophet was Jesus. No Jesus. Forty one good Jesus. Come. Before his birth, even the holy prophet called his name Emmanuel, which is God. With us. Then God was manifested in the flesh in order to take away the sin of the world. And in doing so, he was given the name of Jesus. So Jesus is the the name. And the name was placed in a man. Not a church. Amen. Not a denomination. Amen. Not a creed. But a man. Hey, Banda. Hey, Selo. Hey, Sifu Makolo. But a man. He chose to place his name in Jesus Christ. Now we find out that then he becomes the place of God's worship. Where you worship him. Ever before he was even born. His name was called Jesus. Sele kugwa banga pambi nisho wa gubaza alwe. Ika malake la itiwa uches. It was so important 
is give to his mother by the angel, Gabriel, that his name would be called Jesus. Son of God, what he was. There we have it then. This is it. Alone. It is for him alone. God's chosen place of worship. God's place chose God chose to meet man was not in a church, not in a denomination, not in a creed, but in Christ. That's the only place that God will meet a man and he can worship God is in Christ. That's the only place. No matter if you're Methodist, Baptist, Catholic, Protestant, Whatever you might be. Aguna ndaba noma uibetsotisi paptisi katolika e protestane noma ungaba ini. There's only one place that you can correctly worship God that's in Christ. Yinye gupela ndao onga konza guyo unkulunkulu ngogu hiko leo igu Christu. Romans 8 1 said there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Amen. Jesus that walk not after the flesh but after the spirit that's the gospel Lelo we can differ upon creeds we can differ upon man-made theories we can go to a Methodist church you have to be a Methodist a Baptist a Baptist a Catholic a Catholic but when once you're baptized into Christ and become a member of his body, there's no differences. The middle walls of petition is torn down and you're free because you're in Christ Jesus. And you worship God in spirit and in truth. When you are in Christ Jesus. It's God's plan for you to worship him in Christ Jesus. Now, no church denomination can claim this. No one can claim that. Manje. How dare you to make such claims? To do such a thing would be an antichrist spirit. Be taken away from Christ. To take from him. You cannot do that. Christ is the only place that God meets the worshippers. They say today I've had people tell me a man called me not long ago in Beaumont, Texas. But in Amsanjang, Abana, Bantu, Abanchela, Indo, Tayang Bezas, Catilas, and Sita, and Sula, a few more to Texas. He said, Mr. Branham. If your name is not on our church book, you cannot go to heaven. Would you ever think of that? Don't you believe such a thing as that? They think you have to belong to that certain church or you cannot go to heaven. That's wrong. That's wrong. To believe that is Antichrist. So I say this if you believe such a spirit, you're lost. That's a good sign you are lost because it's taken away from what God did. 
When he and his son became one. That's the genuine place of worship. No other foundation is laid, no other rock. On Christ the solid rock I stand all other grounds. is sinking sand. Denominations will crumble and fall, nations will pass away, but he will remain forever. No other place that a man can find to worship God that God will speak back to him. Amen. No place but in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's the only place, the only place that God chose to put his name in the only place that he meets man to worship. You're lost to believe anything else. Notice all seven Jewish beasts was kept in the same place. They never kept one feast here for the Methodists and one over here for the Baptists. Put over there for the Presbyterian, one back here for the Catholic, one for the Protestant. All seven feasts was kept in the same place. It's a very beautiful type here. We just went through the seven church ages. Amen. Going to show that God keep all seven church ages in the word. For each church age produced a part of the word. And whenever they produced it and they saw the light. Just like the people who first uh, discovered the baptized in Jesus' name. What did they do? They made a denomination out of it and it died right there. Then God moved right out into somebody else. He will not stay in one of those creeds and dogmas. He has nothing to do with it. I got a good salary. What's his sort of salary? Is it for my call? Oh, let's even do so. Is it going to be this one? I got a nice loot on us. There's nothing perverted about God. I will call loot on the pendulum. I said, I'm going to go to school. God's word is holy, unadulterated. Is you going to go to school? Then go Christ is God's center spot of worship. He is God. Oh, Christ, who is in the house, and who is in the house, and who is in the house. All seven feasts must be kept in this one place. You couldn't keep the feast in any other place, but them seven places, the seven feasts of the year must be kept in one place. Wow, Gaga, who is in the house, and 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 who is in the house. Therefore, the seven church ages had to come from the one single place. That was Christ speaking in all seven church ages. That's exactly right. Type of the seven church ages. But they made denominations out of it. Now let's look at another type while we're along here. That's the type of the Passover foreshadowed Jesus. We know to share the sacrifice of blood by death. The sacrifice of blood was the place that foreshadowed Christ can a denomination bleed? Could you think of a church bleeding? A denominational bleeding? 
Certainly not. Ubunga ge ukaba ngai ba dalopa ugopa wechelona impela ka. It's taken blood to bleed from a life. Guta cheka si ugopa egupilen. And the life here, Jesus comes in view by the Lamb. Futi ugupila. The Lamb was a type of Christ and foreshadowed Christ because He was the Lamb of God that John introduced that takes away the sin of the world. We find Jesus coming into view here in Exodus the 12th chapter. Notice it was the only place death could not strike. When death was about to strike the land, there had to be a certain place. All from under this die. Only one place. I didn't mean it was one house, but there was one place. That's where the lamb was killed. Where the lamb's blood was, the death angel could not strike. Because it was the one place God had put his name. And that lamb was named back there in the beginning. Of the lamb. Notice, it was in one place he could not strike. And now the same is today. There's only one place that spiritual death cannot strike. That's the word. Death can't strike the word because it's the living word of God. But when you put creeds with it, the word moves out to itself. It'll separate like water from oil. You cannot. Mix it together. Therefore, you see, when the creed comes into a denomination, they all go after the creed. And the word dies out and goes on with somebody else and increases it more. Picks up a momentum as they go from justification, sanctification, baptism of the Holy Ghost, and all out into the grain. You see the path God has trod? Bringing his name all the time right down the same way because he is the word. Notice he can't die. The word of life can't die. Notice how perfect. Now, the death angel was not forbidden to strike Egypt, great intellectual people. It wasn't forbidden to strike its sacred land. Its great buildings, its pharaohs, or the priest of the land. Is a kiosales in Kulu, or Farobalo, Noma, our priest bears. The angel was not forbidden to strike. In Gelosa and Gatelua, Ushaya. He could strike any building, any place, anybody. Ya in Ashaya, Noma, Isipis Akiwa, Noma, Ipindao, Noma Gubani. But he could not strike where the lamb was. But you are. Ya in Ushaya, Napa, Kona, Kona, Yuzu. Death cannot strike. Where this provided place of God is, and that is in the land. Ogufa, kungere wa shaya la polenda o elungi selwe o kankulunguli kona futile o ise unzwini. Notice, not even was he forbidden to strike Israel, 
or its Hebrew priest and or any of their denominations. Kapelani, kwa gunga ya kongi sho hii, inga chele kushaya u Israeli, noma wa priest ba keba maheperu, futi noma ilipi la maselo obo. All must be in God's chosen provided place or desperate. Bonke, bafanele, babe, kwe, ketwe, gunkulu nkulu, inda welu nsalweo, kunga njalo, ugufa, kwa ushaya. Church, wherever you are, what you belong to, makes me no difference. Banja, nama ngaba ugupi, uguti, ngawa ugupi, agunga enzi mesugo. But there's one thing you must know, you've got to be in Christ or you're dead. Kwatwa, yinye ito ofanele uyazi. Ufanele, ube ku Kristu, kunge njale ufile. You can't live outside of him. Ungere, wapila, unga pate kwake. Your church might be all right as a building. Your fellowship might be all right as man. Isondo lako, lingashe kuba, lilungu ile njenge sa kiwo. Itanga nyelo yako, lingashe kuba, ilungu ile njenge muntu. But when you deny the body, the blood, the word of Jesus Christ, you're dead the minute you do it. Watwa, uma upiga umzimba, ikazi, izu liga chesu kristu, usu file umzu zunje, owenza ngao. God's chosen place of worship. That's where his name is exactly. That's where he chose to put his name. Not in the church, but in the Son, Jesus Christ. Notice, safety line, only in the place of his choosing. In his lamb and in the name of the lamb. Kapelani, ugu pepe wagu senda weni ugu pele ugu keta guake. E unju ni lake. Nase kamele unju. Notice, it was a male lamb. A he, not a her. Kapelani, wagu ungele tu ni unju. Yena, ayona. Not a church, she. But his name, not her name. Ay banda lo na. Kwati kamala ke. Ay kamala lo. Where he was going to meet the people is not in her name, but in his name. Him. The Lamb. La po ezo sanga na kona na bantu. Wanga si ke kamela lo. Kwatwa e kamela ke. Yena iunju. Now we say the church, the great mighty church. She did this and she did that. Manja city. She's way of the storms. We picked up the population. We're great in numbers. We're a mighty church. She's a great thing. But God never said anything about a she. He said him. Him is a meeting place. The Lamb, not the church. Not her name, but his name. He didn't put her name anywhere, he put his name in him. Kuyo. That's why all we must do, or word or deed, we must do it all in the name of Jesus Christ. If we pray, we got to pray in the name of Jesus. Yes. If we ask petition, we've got to ask in Jesus' name. If we walk, we walk in Jesus' name. If we talk, we talk in Jesus' name. If we baptize, we've got to baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. We're all that we do in word or deed, do it in the name of Jesus Christ. We're all that we do in word or deed, do it in the name of Jesus Christ. A fellow said to me one time discussing that. He said, Brother Branham, my wife, I don't... 
Mfuati Prenem, umgami angi. Said she, her name is such and such. She's a minister. Maybe sitting here now. Wati yena i kamala ke linje linje umfundi si angashe kuba uchezi la apa manje. And he said, my wife said she's got my name. Mfuati wati umgami. Wati une kamala mi. I'll just say Jones because it wasn't Jones. Mzovela ngiti u Jones. Goba, kongwe si u Jones. He said, ah, she don't have to get up in the morning and get the broom and say, now I sweep the floor in the name of Jones. Wati manje. Aga tingu kufuga njali kseni Atatu mshanelo Ati manje ingi shanyela Pante eka mendiga chon And I wash the dishes in the name of Joan Futi ingi keza ezicha Eka mendiga chon And I patch the clothes in the name of Joan Futi ingi pesha ezingubo Eka mendiga chon He said I don't think he has called any name at all Watangbo nukutufanele ukubize Eka manchobo I said I believe you do <laughs> Right Ngati nkola ukutufanele kunjali and he said, well, why, she don't have to say, everything she does is in the name of Jones to begin with. Why is that? Ah, unga anina. Aga tinge gile uguli, shwa gonka gwenza, yukuse kamelika Jones, suga nje. I said, but you never walked down on the street and got her to say, come on, Jones. Ngiti kwa tuwa, au zange uhambe, uweche ngumkwa, kwa wasu mtola, wasu uti, waza Jones. She had to become first by a ceremony. Amen. A married ceremony, Jones. Wafanele kuba kukala kuba ngomkupo umkupo mshato Jones if she did you're living in adultery Uma ya wenzanga ni sayo kupiga and if you're baptized any other way but in the name of Jesus Christ it's an adultery baptism which is not enough to die Uma upati sayo na manga hii penye ndela kuka siko leka meni ya Jesus Christ kukumpa batizo wa kupinga onga atola gali epa epelini then what you do in word and deed do it all in the name of Jesus kuna ni kwenza ngezi ni ongo msebezi kwenze ni kwa nge kameli ka chesu after that what you do but first you have to come in his name emba kwa loko ni kwenza ayo kwa tuwa kukala anifane ni nge ni kameli lake there's many fine women in this building tonight fine loyal women but there's one miss william branham mani nga besfaza anabashe gule ndu ula upsugu abashe besfaza anabetembe gileo kwa tuwa munye unko skazi william branham she's the one goes home with me She's the one that's my wife. Nguya siyana ekaya, nguya ongu mgami. There's fine people in the world, fine churches, but there's one Miss Jesus Christ. Amen. And that's who he's coming for. Amen. Kukona banda baase zweni, ama banda maase, kotwa muju kwa skazi chesu kristu, futi hiloho amzelayo. That's where his name lays. Lina yela pagi kabanake. That's where his worship is. Amen. And her, and her alone. That is true. Kuna paga ukanzo wa kwake. Paga atikuye futhi yena yedwa lelo iqiniso. Oh yes sir. We find that to be true. Oh yeah umnumzane. Sikuthola kuni iqiniso lokho. Now that's why we all we do in word our deed we do it in the name of Jesus Christ. Manje ingakho thina konke sikwenzayo ngezwe noma ngumsebenzi. Sikwenza egameni lika Jesu Kristu. There is not another name given under he- heaven for salvation but the name of Jesus Christ. Alika linikame linikwe phansi kwezulu lensindiso kepha igama lika Jesu Kristu. Acts the second chapter says that for be known unto you there's not another name given under heaven whereby a man must be saved only in the name of Jesus Christ. Izenzo isashoko sesibili Iyasho kuti ukuba makwaze ke kini alikhe linyigama elinikiwe phansi kwezulu umuntu angasindiswa ngalo kuphela egameni lika Jesu Kristu Amen I hope you get Amen ngathambi ukuthi eni yakuthola The name of Jesus Christ every high heaven is named him Igama lika Jesu Kristu ok izulu elipakame kuna onke lethiwe ngaye All the family in heaven is named Jesus the Bible says Wakumdeni ezulwini wathiwe ngo Jesu ibhayibheli lathi And all the family on earth is named Jesus Futhi wakumdeni emhlabeni wethiwe ngo Jesu So that's God's chosen name and where he's put it. Ngakho lelo igama likankulunkulu elikhethiweyo nalapho elibeke khona. That's his place of worship. Is in Jesus Christ. Lelo indawo yakhe yokukhonzela iku Jesu Kristu. Now, we know that to be so. Manje Sazi ukuthi lokho kunjalo No other place to worship but in him Ayikho ngindawo yokukhonzela kuphela kuye There is no another name under heaven given among men whereby they must be saved Alikho linyigama phansi kwezulu elinikezwe umuntu abangasindiswa ngalo Here is 
God's name of redemption. Elake, yika maliga nkulu nkulu logu sengwa. God has a name called Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Rapha. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord forgives all our sins. Nkulu nkulu neka meritiwa. Uchehova Jire, Uchehova Rapha, Uchehova Jire nkosi. Itetelela zongi zono zako. Jehovah Rapha, the Lord heals all our diseases. Jehovah Rapha, inkosi pulungisa zongi zifo zako. He had many titles, but he's got one name of redemption that belongs to the human race, and that is the name of Jesus. Wene zikosi ningi, kwa tuneka merilo hatu alogusengwa, elingele sintu, futilelo hika maliga chesu. That's his name he chose to put. Lelo hika malaka keta ugulibega. Where did he put it? He put it in Christ. Christ. All other church names, creeds, titles is death to trust them. You're trusting the Methodist church to take you to heaven? You're lost. If you're trusting the Pentecostals, the Pentecostal church to take you to heaven, you're lost. In the Baptist, Lutheran, Presbyterian, Catholic, any other church. You're trusting their name or their title or their creed. You are lost. Because you can't even worship. Until first you come into the place of worship. Amen. Amen. That's the only place God meets the worshiper. Is a place he chose to put his name. All others, you trust in them, you'll die. He also, another shadow of Jesus here, I've got marked down the scripture. Also, he, he foreshadowed here, he must be without a blemish. The place he puts his name, this lamb must be without a blemish. Now, what denominator system can you pin this to? Manje, What church? Catholic, Protestant, Jewish, whatever it is. What system, denomination can you pin that to without a blemish on it? It's all rejected and refused. But there is a place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That place is in Jesus Christ. There's not a blemish on him. There was no fault in him. You cannot pin this. All these people try to do so, say their church is without fault and all this. But it's filthy word breakers, lovers, half dead, Laosian creed, but it is not the truth. But even Pilate himself, his enemy, said, I can find no fault in him. His own enemy testified there was no fault in him. But he's not going to be You can't pin any sin on him. He said to the priest of his days, which one of you can accuse me of sin? What kwa priest ya bange zinsuguza ke ubanigini? Who can show me that I'm a sinner? 
Tell me one church that can say they never did you anything wrong. Frankly, there's not a one of them hardly but what's murdered and done everything there is on the calendar to do hardly. Then still call himself though it's not God's meeting place of worship in any creed or denomination. My friends, I don't want to hurt feelings, but I'm responsible for a message. And that message has come out of this mess. And if I asked you to come out, where am I going to take you to? Would I take you to the Branham Tabernacle? It's as much fault as any rest of them. But there's one place I can't take you to. I can't take you to where you're safe and protected from death. That's in Jesus Christ, God's place of worship. But you in doubt, I can't take you to the Branham Tabernacle. I can that's the place I'm introducing to you tonight where God put his name and where he promised he'd meet every person that come in there he'd worship with him in peace with him that's in Christ not in no church, no tabernacle, but in Christ, He is God's tabernacle. He is a place that God came into Himself and dwelt in Him. This is my beloved Son in whom I'm pleased to dwell in. There's where God's tabernacle brought his name and placed it up on Jesus Christ. Therefore his name was put in a man, his son, Jesus Christ, in which he tabernacled himself. In that tabernacle, we're in a tight the old Jerusalem. The old feast, the old temple was a type because temple When the smoke came in the day that the ark went into the covenant. And settled down, and the voice of God was heard from it. Then we will So did the voice of God be heard coming into the tabernacle, Jesus Christ. Which the old natural was a type and a shadow of the new. And when he came into Christ, he said, This is my beloved son in whom I'm pleased to dwell in. Here's the place. And I'll choose the place where I'll put my name and where I will meet man and where I will worship at. God chose the place. Not in no church denomination, but in Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. In church denomination, but in Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. In Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It must also be without a blemish, as I said. No denomination can claim that. They do their Antichrist. Now we find out, here notice uh, his shadow again. The, the lamb is to be kept up 
Eu onde ele faz ele crer, não é? Now this is found in Exodus 12 if you're marking down. Exodus 12, 3 to 6. Mande lhe o que tu olha lá. Com Exodus, eu chamo na Bíblia. O mago maga pansi. Exodus, eu chamo na Bíblia. Ele está tu, o iago ele estupa. The lamb must be kept up four days to be tried. To see if it's worthy to go to the sacrifice yet. Eu olho, lhe fala ele que não é gozo, o bebê é isso, o gozo é né. O bebê ali só olha o bebê ou não o ti. Se ele gufa nele aí, né, o gozo é imitação do ele. Must be top examined over and over for four days to see if there's a blemish on it. Lhe fala ele ali tá tu é, lhe só lhe se isso é isso, o gozo é né. O bebê ou não o ti. Se corna aí né, e se que gulo. Se there's any sickness in it. If there's anything wrong with the lamb. Kubonwe ukuthi sikhona yini isifa kulo. Kubona ukuthi kukhona yini okuniphutha eundlwini. It must be kept up uh, four days. Lifanele igcinwe izinsuku ezine. I know some of my thought that's a little bit killed on the 14th. Mbaye qaphelani, abanye benu ngahle ukuba bacabange ukuthi lokho bekukuncanyana labo lawa ezili 18. But remember they took the lamb on the 10th day of the month and killed it on the 14th day of the month. Kwatwa niyakumbula babelithatha iwundlu ngosuku lwe 10 enyangeni bese belibulala ngosuku lwe 18 enyangeni niyabo which is kept up for four days elithino ezinsuku ezine now jesus god's name lamb went into jerusalem and never came out again until after his death burial and resurrection maja uchesu ikamalika nkulunkulu iwundlu Wangele Jerusalema akapinda phume futhi kwaze kwaba semva kokufa kwakhe ukumbelwa nokuvuka He was kept up under critics for four days and four nights Wakinwa phansi kwabasoli izinsuku ezine nobusuku obune How perfect that lamb was tied La fanekiswa ngokuphela ngempela lelo undlu Kept up for four days La kinwa izinsuku ezine That's when Pilate said I can find no fault in him Ungale unkathi lapho pilathu athi Another shadow of him, no bone could be broken in him, which is perfectly. Esinye esitunzi zakem, au kwa tambo ela linge pulu aguye, ogabango gupelele. When they couldn't killing the sacrifice, he couldn't break a bone. If it was, it was refused. Gengati bengale puli, egbulale numshachelo, abagwa zanga ogwe pula itambo, umagwa gunjalo la lenga chwa. And they already draw the hammer back to break the bones in the legs of Christ. When they said he's already dead. Futhi base bevele, besihoshile isandu ukuba bephula amathambo emilenzeni ka Kristu ngenkathi bethi usevele usefile. They pierced his side and found blood and water. Bamkwazi ohlangothini futhi bathola igazi namanzi. Notice again another great thing here. I won't skip it by because he was represented in the offerings. The meal offering. Kapelani futhi enye into enkulu lapha. Bengingeke ngikweqe ngoba wafanekiswa eminikelweni umnikelo wempuphu I remember one time they had a school in the Bible called the school of the prophets and it was quite a school Ngiyakhumbula ngesinye isikhathi baba nesikole ebhayibhelini esasibizwa ngesikole laba prophet futhi kwakuyisikole ngempela And we find out that Elijah went up there to that school one day Futhi siyathola ukuthi u Elijah wenyuke lapho kuleso sikole ngelinyilanga They said we they prayed him to leave said when you're around here things are too straight so they wanted him to get away Futhi bathi thina bamncenga kubasuke bathi uma ukhona lapha izinto ziqonda kakhulu ngakho awemfuna asuka hambe And they went out to get him a dinner and a bunch of the priests went out or the prophets to get some peas to make a dinner for him Futhi baphuma ukuya omfunyela idina nesikhetha lesa ba priests sabaphuma noma ba prophet ukuya ofuna uphizi ukumenza la idina And when they did they gathered a great big apron full of them Futhi ngekathi bekwenza babutha inqoba enkulu yawo ugcwele isibhingo And when they come back it was wild gourds which was poison and they threw them into the pot Futhi ngekathi sebebuya Wakuyizi intangazane okwaku ngubuthi futhi bazifaka ebhodweni And the pots begin to boil namabhodwe aqala ukubila And there somebody said alas there's death in the pot now we can't even eat Futhi bona othize wathi mai kukhona ukufa ebhodweni manje sisakwazi ngisho ukudla And Elijah said bring me a handful of meal Why said to Elijah Gilethelene impuphu engagcwala isandla. And he took the meal and threw it into the pot and said eat the pot's healed. 
Wase ichacha ipupu Waipose po tuen Wase titanini Ipo tuwe salipurugisiwe The meal offering was Christ Umnigale mpupu wa ungu Christu Every burr had to be set the same And every little piece of meal had to be ground the same for the meal offering Zoga izi ntamvana izi na matelayo Zaswa izi thelo yungu kufana ayo Futi yogi keshe zane mpupu Ya ifanele ikaiwe Ngu kufana ayo kubaibe Umnigale mpupu Showing that he is the healer He substitutes and takes away death And puts life for the two Amen Ukomisa kuti Ungumpulugisu ya bambela Futi asusa ugufa Abege ugupila Na mite mbili Hallelujah where death is one place When Christ comes in Life comes in Hallelujah Nabo ukukona kona ugufa Idayatwa Nga ukristu Engena Ugupila Ugyangena He's the same yesterday today and forever Unguya izolo na musa na pagate And where there was death There became life Because that Christ was brought in Futi lapo wa ukona kona ukufa Lapo kaba ngukupila ngoba Lo Christu wangeniso mnigelo wempupu What a great lesson that these things would be If we take time to break them out Kwa hizi fundi hezi nkulu kwa habine hezi zinto Hezi ngaba hizo umasi tata isikati So huzi tazia Now notice Not one word of the shadows fail Manja ye kapelani Aguko neli lotwa hizi ulezi tunzi not one word ever failed of the shadow. Everything tied perfectly. Aguko neli no tuwa izwi. Ena agele shulega. Lesi tunzi. Konge kwa gufanya gisa. Ngugu pelele. He's God's chosen place of worship. And God's name is given to him. Uinda wa nkulunkula ketiwe ya konzela. Neka malika nkulunkulu. Linigwa yena. He is God's place of worship and God's name is given to him. Uinda wa nkulunkulu ya konzela. Neka malika nkulunkulu linigwa yena. He is the word of God and he is the name of God. Uinda wa nkulunkulu. Futi uika malika nkulunkulu. He is both the word of God and the name of God. Uika wa gubili. He is the word of God. Neka malika nkulunkulu. He was the word made flesh he was the word of God lamb of God name of God and was God that's what he was the chosen and only place of worship to God God refuses any other place besides in Jesus Christ Futi unkulunkulu, we ngaba noma yipi enye indiao, ngapande kukubagu Jesu Kristu. You cannot worship him anywhere. Ungego wa mkonza noma yugupi. He said, in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandments of man. Wati bangi konza ngeze, befundiso esi fundiso, esi miya loyo muntu. The day we have creeds, dogmas and everything, it teaches this is the way and that is the way. Na mtande esi nezi fumokolo, esi fundiso esi nga pigiswa, na kogonke, oku fundiso oguti hile indela, futi hile o indela. Jesus said, I am the way. The truth and the life and no man can come to God except by me. No chesu wati. Gintela ikanisa na kupila. Futage kwa reza kukulukulu nga pande kwa ami. In other words, I am the door to the sheepfold. Oh, without a thief. Kawa ya mazwe. Gisa wa spaye nchezifu. Boka abama pande nga masela. He is the only approach. Guwe kupela o kusondelu wa guwe. He's the door. He's the way, the truth, the life. All that there is, the only entrance, the only place, the only worship, the only name. Everything is tied to Jesus Christ. All the Old Testament is tied to him, the New Testament is tied to him. And the church today is tied to him by the word of his commandment. There's not another place or another name or any word where God ever promised to meet a man only in Jesus Christ, his chosen place of worship. Notice, in the 
God has promised to meet his worshippers in only this one place. And that is of his own choosing. Not of our choosing, not of our thinking, but of his thinking. His choosing. Not because we are right. And it would be the place where he put his name, where he chose. So we find out that we find where his name was, what he chose, by his own choosing. So it's the place where he put his name. That is in Christ Jesus. Manja njengo wa sisi ito ni indao abega wika malake o unguti ku Christu Jesu. And there is no other place or no other name. Are you satisfied of that? Say amen. Futi ayiko ya njindao no malika li njikama nye niliswa ilo kona tanini ameni. Now the thing of it is if we find where the place is. Manja ito wiyona unguti uma sitola unguti indao igupi. The worship place is nowhere accepted only in Christ. Indawo yakukonzela ayemukelwa ndawo kuphela kuKristu. You can repent. You can do that, but you're not worshiping yet. You're asking for pardon. Ungaphenduka, ungakwenza lokho, kodwa awukabi ngokonzayo nokho, ucela ukuxolelwa. Peter said on the day of Pentecost when they seen them all speaking with tongues and great signs and wonders taking place. Upetu watu ngosu ule pete kosta lapo. Beba bonile bonke bekulima ngezi libi nezi bona galiso nezi mangalisa zi nkulu zenzega. They begin to laugh the church didn't say these men are full of new wine. They act like drunk people. Baka ushega ibante lenze njale futibati la mato takwele iwanyalisha. Benzisa wa bando watagiwe. Look, Mary the Virgin, all of them was together. 120 of them. And they were staggering like drunk men and speaking in tongues and carrying on. He said, These men are full of new wine. But the Peter standing up said, Man and brethren, these men are not full of new wine. Well, this is just a third hour of the day. Go to Peter Suba, what to my daughter was alone. The matter to our trial, you were the Nisha, local lady, Jay, go say you hold a start, let me. But this is that which is spoken by the prophet Joel. Go to a local, you know, what she won't go, prophet to Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last day, saith God, I pour out my spirit upon all flesh. We are good tears in the winds of Pella, go show Kulungulunga, go to Lila, where we are, Pez, where you can yam. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Upon my hands, maids and maids, servant, will I pour out of my spirit. I'll show signs in the heavens above and on earth, fire, pillars of fire, vapors to smoke. It shall come to pass before the great and terrible day of the Lord shall come that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. When they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said, Man and brother, what can we do? Peter said, Repent every one of you and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And then you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promises that all future generations. Konanya wa mwagali swa is piwa sika mwengwele. Mwagubwa isa tembe so iso sonke. Lezo zizugulua aneze nkate zayo. Now, we find that. Now we want to find how we get into him. Mande siya kutole loko. Mande siya funu kutole kuti singena ganja ni guwe. How do we get into this place of worship? Singena ganja ni guwe nda wayo konze la na. 1 Corinthians 12 settles it. Abasa Corinthians wa kutole. For by one spirit, not by one church, not by one creed, not by one pastor, not by one bishop, not by one priest, but by one Holy Spirit, we are all. Baptized into one body 
which is the body of Jesus Christ. And subjects that ever get that lays in that body. Yes, sir. For this thing about Panty was a song as a pure as a glom zimba, yevom numzan. No joining, no reciting of creeds, no pumping up, letting down hands, shaking of the. Agukogu choin, Agukogu land, do I was it from a colo, Agukogu pampa, which is some cola, no maino gun. But by birth, we are baptized into the body of Jesus Christ. Amen. What do you zala? Papati zalabs in Benny at Jesu Christu. Amen. By one Holy Spirit. We are all baptized into one body. And what is that body? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Put your oil on Zimbana, and we can't wait to call the Liz, the Liz, the Liz, the Liz, And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. No Liz, we have a Yama, we have a part of it. How can we be in that body and deny one word of it, or place it off somewhere else? That's not even in the body. Zimba for the Sipiga is a lot allowed, no ma silibele ni gwenya in dao guti ali kong in show emzim bedi na. How can we ever do it? Singagasi was a ganja and lokona. God's chosen place. Notice. In the ketwe gankulunkulu, kapelan. And when you are truly baptized into him, the true evidence is that you believe. Him the word. How can you be a part of him? And then deny him. How can I deny my hand being my hand? If, there, if I do this, something mentally wrong with me. And how can I, uh, if there's something mentally wrong with me, deny that's my hand? Then now that's my foot. There's something spiritually wrong with the believer that denies any word that God ever said and promised. There's something spiritually wrong with that so-called believer. You can't deny one letter of him because you have become a part of the same. You are a part of him because you're baptized into him. By the Holy Spirit has brought you into the body of Jesus Christ. What a beautiful thing. God had a certain place to meet. He met Abraham. And there Abraham worshipped with. All down through the Testament. And his promised word will be interpreted in you by him. Did you get that? The word that he promised. To fulfill in the day that you're living in. Yes, we are telling you, sir. You will be a written epistle of God. Read of all men. We are buying what? Hello, chief. I'm calling you. Not what you claim, but what God does through you will speak out louder than anything you can claim. Amen. God said, These signs shall follow them that believe. That speaks to you. He spoke of this age. What would be now? The believers of this age has to believe this. What he promised today. Just the same as they had to come into the ark to be saved, go out of Egypt to be saved. They have to come into Christ to be saved now into the word message. 
Wafanya lebeze u kristu kwa basindi so manje Bange ne mda yesu ya nizwi Uguti ungu ye izolo na muta na pagate How do you get into it? By baptism Ungele ganja anigula na ngo babatizo Baptism of what? Water by the Holy Ghost Babatizo wani amanzi na ngo moe ondwele One spirit we're all baptized into this one body Moe amunye tinasonga se babatizwe kulo mzimba munye And his promised word Futi izu lake eleta njisuwa he will not you won't have to interpret it he will interpret it through you what you are doing what he promised to do agaiku auzi ukuthi ngakuli humusha uyali humusha ngawe lokho okwenzayo lokho ethimbisa ukukwenza the church that follows him will be so much like him until the people are know ibanda limlandelayo liye wanje ngaye kakhulu abantu bayoze bazi look at peter and john when they was questioned about healing a man at the gate called beautiful. Bugano pet na Johanna ngati bebuzwa ngokuphilisa umuntu esango elithiwa elihle. They said they perceived those priests in that they were both ignorant and unlearned men. Bathi baqonda la wa priest baqonda ukuthi babeyikho kwakubili bemifunda nje futhi bengamadoda angafundile. But they take notice that they had been with Jesus. Kodwa baqonda ukuthi kade be no Jesus. But cause what? They were doing the things that he did. He must be about the father's business. And today it must be the same. Now remember he's the same yesterday, today and forever. Where God meets you in him. The only place there is. For that is where he has chosen to put his name. In Jesus. Jesus is the name of God. Remember, Father, Son, Holy Ghost is titles to the name Jesus Christ. When Matthew said, Go ye therefore, teach all nations, baptize them into the name of of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Nikati umacheo eti ngaloko ambani fundi isa izizo zonke. Niopo patise kame liga isele ndota ana niliga mwondwele. How it's been misinterpreted and say in the name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Ghost. Uhunyu shwe kongesi kwa kakuni na mchanje futi batil. E kame liga isa i kame le ndota ana i kame liga mwondwele. It's not even written. Agulo chiwe ngisho glochwa. It's in the name singular. Of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Father is not a name. Son is not a name. Holy Ghost is not a name. It's a title. Ten days later, Peter stood up and said, Repent, everyone of you, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Ezi tukuri ezi ni shumi ga muva upetu wa sugu mwa ese tipendu kwa ilo na lo. Apapatizo e kamendi ga Jesu Kristu. Then he did what he told him not to do. He did what he told him to do. Gabege weza kona emchele kuba anga gwenzi na weza kona emchele kuba agwenzi. The name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is the Lord Jesus Christ. Ikamaliga isi jota na no muwendu ele inkosu chesu. Every person in the New Testament was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Woku mu Testament elisha wae baptizwa kamenle nkosu Jesu Kristu. Not one person in the Bible was ever baptized in the titles of Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Akukho no eto muta pa ipelini uka baptizwa ezikwini zikayise indoda na umoyo ondwele. That never did come into existence until the Nicaea Creed was put on at Nicaea Rome. Lokho kwakungazanga kube khona kwazo kwabe there was an order of the Catholic Church found vindicated the same thing in the Catechism. Now got it. That's right. Facts of our faith and so forth. That it absolutely is a Roman Catholic creed. They'll tell you it's not the Bible, but they say they have power to change them words if they wish to because of the Pope. Are different. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And whosoever shall take one word out of this Bible.
said Jesus, or put one word in it, his part will be taken from the book of life. Forty, hello, Nalo, I also say, so you lot, I pipe, Quashu chess, no man as a laser, you lot, a gulo, a sabbat of sack as your susa, and what in your peel. One word, not a sentence or a paragraph, but a word. Is a lot. Whosoever shall take one word. In the beginning, God fortified his people with his word. One word misconstrued caused every death, every heartache, every sorrow. Eve, she never broke a sentence, she broke a word. When Jesus came in the middle of the book, that's the first of the book. When Jesus came in the middle of the book, what did he say? It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. That first out of the mouth of God. In the last of the book, Revelation, the 22nd chapter, the 18th verse, the very last part of the Bible. Then the last of the book, Revelation, the 22nd chapter, the 18th verse, the very last part of the Bible. That if any man shall take one word out of this book, or add one word to it, his part will be taken out of the book of life. Uchesu kuluma, kumuluwa kewati, kia fagaza mina uguti, umekwada osu sa izo ilatu agule ngwa tinoma, edesele izo ilatu agulo, isamela sake siyo suswa, ngwa tinyo kpila. Because he's a false prophet, and has misconstrued the people. And their blood will be accounted to his hand of doing so. We must keep that one place of worship that is Jesus Christ the Word the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Alright. Amen. 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 Remember there's no other meeting place to worship. Not a place God shows it. Kumulani, ayeke ngindao, ye kusangana, kuba kukonzwe, ayuko ndao, unkulunkulu wa iketa. John, way back yonder at the tie between the New and Old Testament. Uchohane, emu vangale ya, efindu eni parati weli ishane, li tell testament. Listen close now. Notice closely. Lalisi sani mande, kapelisi sani. John, that great eagle, come flying from the wilderness one day. Uchohane, lolo kozo lukulu, luza lundiza lufele sana ngele nyilanga. His great wings spread, he lay down on the bank of the Jordan. Ama pigo, alo, ama kulu, entalega, lue salapanto kwinwe chortane. A great eagle prophet. The bridge the way between the Old and New Testament. Um prophet or Lucas or Lucul, or a Thomas is in the Lapagati where it tells the Elisha Testament. And he called him from right and left. Put all the bees out of the Sagunta. The Sagunta. He was calling a day of repentance. Why the bees out of Sagunta? Penduga. Why are come the Pharisees and Sadducees out? Lapagu puma kona ba Pharisees ba Sadducees. He said, Don't begin to say within yourself, We have Abraham to our father, because I tell you, God is able to these stones to our children, Abraham. Why are you not telling me? Ugo ti parati wenu. Si do Abraham o ngu baba o etungo ba gan chala unkulunkulu angam vuselo Abraham ba tu anagula amache. Oh my. When he began to throw his gospel out and saying, There stands one among you who you don't know. Oh, hey, get that guy who puts it up on a pan, Jay Fangela, K. Futeti, who corner all the party going to, yeah, I didn't have I'm not yet identified him, but I'll know him when he comes. Angam Kong, Binoco, Kodang Zomaz, and I figure. I'm not worthy to lose his shoe. But he'll baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. Ang fanale ku chulula iskato sake. Wato zoni papa tiza mo moyon zoyom lilo. Man is in his hands. He'll thoroughly purge his floor and he'll burn the trap with unquenchable fire. Isi shungo sake. Isi se sanjen sake. Uta ku chale si sa isi boy sake. Futi amakoba uta ku ashisa mo lilo ngatimegi. That great gospel eagle sitting there as he crowed out. 
His great threat. Lolo kozo lukulu evangeli luchez lapo. Lapo lukala kakulu. Luzorali sa izintango zalo ezinkulu. Look. Don't come out or Herod. The emperor at that time. Proclamator. Married his brother's wife. Nogundo la kwa puma. No mo Herod umbusi ngayo skati. Mmemezeli. Waka anwa. Umgamfo wabo. And could you imagine that big gospel eagle sitting there and holding his piece of that? Futhi wa ungathini lelo khozo olukhulu lwevangeli luhlezi labo futhi luthule nje ngalokho na Some of them said don't you preach on marriage and divorce I John those there said Herod Abanye bawo bathi ungashumayele ngomshado lesahlukaniso manje tohane ngoba nango ehlezi u Herod Walk out up in his face and said it's not lawful for you to have Wamqonda ngqo ebusweni bakho waye sethi awufunyalwa kumthatha kunjalo What was it He was that eagle from the wilderness Eni yena waye yilala waye lolo khozo luvela ehlane He wasn't trained under man's scares and threats of some denomination but he was trained under the power of almighty God to know what was in him Waye ngake qeshiwe ngaphansi kwawe sabisa kwamuntu nezinsongo zehle ehlise kodwa waye qeqeshwe ngaphansi kwamandla kaNkulunkulu somandla ukwazi ukuthi kwakuyoba khona lapho He know the identification of the Messiah Waye yazi qomba ka Messiah Hallelujah The word means praise our God don't get scared I never hurt nobody yet Hallelujah Ikamal tazo kuli tumisano nkulunkulu wethu ninge sabi angaze ngilimaze umuntu ukuze kube manje I don't not excited I'm right where I am Angipampi ngazi kahle ukuthi ndikuphi Oh when I think of him that big eagle flying out there and sitting down Wo mangicabanga ngayo lolo khozo lukhulu lundize laphandle lapho futhi luhlala phansi He said I don't know him when he comes What he ngiyamazi xa efika One day he was standing there preaching the priest was across the other side Yelinyilanga waye mlapha enchumayelo aba priest waye ngaphesha kwelinye icala Said you mean there come a time the daily sacrifice will be taken away What he ushuka ukuthi kuyofaka isikhathi lapho khona umhlatshelo wemihla ngemihla yosuswa This great temple we built and all the work we put on us big denomination Leli tempe elikuye esilakhile nawo kumsebenze siwenzile ethi nahlelo elikhulu na He said there will come a time when all that will be done away What he go through is cut up for God ke lokho kuyoyekwa It can't be your false prophet Gaba kwenzeke ngumprophet wamanga And he looked around he said behold there he is Futhi waqalaza wathi bekani nangu ya There's a God's chosen place of worship There's the lamb, the real lamb that takes away the sin of the world. Ah, the church is so cool. He didn't say here comes the Methodist, here comes the Baptist or the Catholic. He said there comes the lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Ah, the Holy Spirit is on their heads. Is in that lamb of God. Is in that food as papile kuphela esikhona sikulelo uwundu likaNkulunkulu. In him alone is salvation. Uyena kuphela kukhona insindiso. Not in any church any creed any people. Hayi kunoma ilipi ibandla noma isipi sivuma ukholo noma ibapha abantu. Any father any mother any holy man or nothing. Holy place Noma imuphu baba noma imuphu mama noma iphi indoda engcwele noma lotho indawo engcwele It's in the holy god the lord jesus christ where god placed his name on a human being for redemption who paid the price for us sinners Ikunkulu nkulu engcwele inkosi uJesu Kristu lapho uNkulunkulu abeka khona igama lakhe esidalweni esingumuntu kwenzelwa ukuhlengwa owasikhokhela inkokhelo yethu thina zoni The only place that there is salvation Yileyo ndawo kuphela ukuthi kukhona insindiso That's a rock I stand on Yile yodwala ngimi kulo John identified him Uchohana wamkhomba He said I didn't know him When I saw him come walking up What he been king amazi ekathi ngimbona eza enyuka But out there where I got my school What a part of the fire lapho engathi lakhona kufunda kwami Not in the seminary like his daddy did Ah college njengoba kwenza uyise Not as a priest train but in the wilderness Hi young priest of Gagashiwe. Quite a son. Why was in the theological seminary of Almighty God? Amen. Amen. Waiting for God's word. Labo kona. I said college lokwa zingwa nkulunkulu. Likankulunkulu somandla elindela izwi kankulunkulu. Not what some group of men had hatched up. 
But what God said And when John looked up and saw the Spirit coming, he said, I bear a record, this is him. Putting a cat to Johannem, a pair of pairs with a foot to a bone on my ears, a wati, Gafagaz and Guyalo. Oh, my, there's your place of worship. Oh, hey. There's your hiding place. There's the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Not no church, no creed, or nothing else. But the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. See how John placed it? He didn't say, You Pharisees is right, you Sadducees are Rodians. Nyambona Johanna Uguti Wagubega Ganjanina, Arazanga Tinina, Bafores, Ubinsilanina, Basatus Maheroti. He said, There's the Lamb. What an art do you want? That's the place. Yeah, thou. He's got the name. Uda Kama. He is the one. Gooey. Not another name under heaven. Watch what Jesus said about John now. One day John sent to him to see what he's doing. Jesus said of him, He was that great and shining light to show them the right path that they should follow before his advent. His first advent. Jesus said of him, don't miss it. Jesus said, John was that light. Malachi 3. No mistake. The prophet with the great shining light identified Jesus as being the only one, the Lamb. Um prophet. All other lambs and priests was talking about all other things was foolish. And then Here was a lamb, the man with the great shining light. That Jesus said he was. Nati, let me call na yunju. Indota, ya ina kukanya kukulu, ukanya yogu, uchesu wati, ya iiko. Malachi 3 said, I'll send my messenger before my face to prepare the way. Malachi was chatu wati, ya kutuma istunyo sam, pambu kwa busobam, ukulungi saindel. And the one that was sent to prepare the way identified him the place. Futi. Lao. Atunwa. Ukulunga saindela. Wamkamba. Yena indao. That's him. There's no mistake. That's him. Amen. Nguye lo. Auka puta. Nguye lo. I see the sign following him. I know that that's him. Gibores bona gali so simlandela. Giaz utlo nguye. A light coming down from heaven and going upon him. He was positive that was him. Now, my brother, I want to ask you something closing. We might say this in Malachi 4. Aren't we also promised another eagle? Singacho loku, kumalaki we sine, asetenji iswa yini, olunyu, olunyu kozi. A pillar of light to be following. To show the erring church this day that he's Hebrews 13 8, the same yesterday, today, and forever. In Sega Yagukanya, Gubailandele, Ukombisa Ibandeli Possisayo, Kulalu Suguti, Ungamahe Peru, Eshumin and Tatu, Eshakalombili, Ongo Isolo, Namusala Padra. Aren't we promised another to come flying from the wilderness? I said, that is why he, Alunya Uguba, Luzel and Diesel of Veletanina. Amen. That's exactly the truth. Amen. Kunikini song and pelalelo. 
How fitting and matching it is to Luke 17:30, where the Son of Man ego will be revealing itself. We did not afford to go for the land and pay no Luca. We should not come be so. And let us show my tattoo. Let me not turn your mood too cozy. Let me lose them, Buddha Lona. To bring to know all other worship places, such as denominations and so forth. Where that is, Zonke Zinye is in Daos or Ukonzela. Jenga Matelo Nje Jalonjalo. God chose His place. Unkulungulu Ake in Daos Ake. John said, "There it is." And then we're promised the same thing in this day. Malachi 4 to turn the hearts of the children back. To say that he's not dead, these things are not for another age. Baptism in Jesus' name is not for back there, but he's now the same. Amen. Amen. To bring to know all other places of worship. That's what the last day eagle is to do. To show that all the rest of it is foolishness. Denomination is folly. But to point them again with the same sign that he did, that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Also in Revelations 4 7, we had four beasts that we've just been through with. The first one was, we find out, was the lion. That was the first beast that went forth to meet the challenge of that day, the lion of the tribe of Judah. After him come the next beast. And we find out the next beast was an ox, which is a beast of burden, a sacrifice. And the days of the Roman cathedral, the church died out, sacrificed. The next come was a mat, was a beast with the face of a man. And that man was a reformer's man's education, theology. And so forth. But the last beast that was to fly, the last beast that was to come, the Bible said it was a flying eagle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the prophet said in this day, it shall be like. Oh, my. Oh, my. In that day, the prophet said, Oh, my. 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 But in the evening time, in the eagle time, it shall be light about eagle time. The path of glory you surely find. And the waterway is the light today, buried in the precious name of Jesus. Young and old, repent of all your sins. The Holy Ghost will surely baptize you in. For the evening light to come, it is a fact that God and Christ are one. Amen. It shall be light about the evening time. Amen. God's only chosen place to worship. Oh. What's this message come to? What is he going to do? Oh, And in his day, it shall be light at the evening time. 
futhi ngosu kulokhe kuyoba khona kukhanya esikhathini sokuhlo and why to welcome his children back home to the true promised land futhi ini ukwemukela abantwana bakhe babuyele ekhaya ezweni lesethembiso leqiniso by the same sign of the pillar of fire that led the children of Israel through the wilderness lesibonakalisa esifana esethika yomlilo eyahola abantwana bawa Israel bedabula ehlane God's chosen place to worship Jesus Christ. Indawo ekhethiwe kankulunkulu kukhonza uJesu Kristu. That's the only place there is. Ileyo ndawo kuphele khona. That's the only name God has for salvation. Ilelo gama kuphela uNkulunkulu wanalo lentsindiso. That's what his name the fame in heaven what it's on earth is Jesus Christ. Uwethe kanjalo umndeni ezulwini lapho use emhlabeni nguJesu Kristu. Oh church old people Sinner friend, don't trust in nothing else but Jesus Christ. Oh bandla, oh bantu mgano isoni, ungethe mbi lutho olunye kodwa uJesu Kristu. Don't trust in any preacher. Ungethe mbi noma imuphi umshumayeli. Don't trust in anybody else to save you. Ungethe mbi umuntu omunye ukuba kusindise. Trust not in any church, any creed, any denomination. Ungethe mbi noma iliphi ibandla, na isibi isivumo khona, na iliphi ihlelo. Trust only in Jesus Christ. For he is the light of the hour. Temba kuphele ku Jesu Kristu ngokuba ongukukhanya kwehora. Let us bow our heads. Askotamisa amakanda ethu. It shall be light about the evening time. The path to glory you will surely find. Ke wakhona kukhanya cishe ngesikhathi sokuhlwa indlela enkazimulweni impelani wayifumana. In the waterway is the light today. Buried in the precious name of Jesus. Endeleni amanzi ngukhanya namuhla nencwadi egamele lihlale ka Jesu. Young and old repent of all your sins. The Holy Ghost will surely enter in. Bangani nabadala aphenduka nezonini zweni zonke. Umoya onqwele ngempela yonke na. The evening lights have come. It is a fact that God in Christ are one Ezikanye so zako sehlwa sezifikile kuyiziminye ukuthi uNkulunkulu no Christ ba munye Oh brother sister if you haven't repented yet if you haven't been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ would you make that start tonight Oh mfuye ukuthi uthathe wethu uma ungakaphenduki uma ungabe bathiswa egameni lika Jesus Christ ungasenza leso siqalo kulobusuku Would you give God the opportunity to welcome you into the place where you can worship him Ungamnika uNkulunkulu ithuba ukuba akwemukele ungene endaweni lapho ongamkhonza khona na Remember outside of there there is no place that God promised to meet you and welcome your worship Kumbulani ngaphandle kwalapho akukho ndawo uNkulunkulu athembisa ukuhlangana nawe khona Futhi emukele ukukhonza kwakho. You say brother Bram, I worship this is sincere so did Cain. Wena uthi mfuye ethu Bram, ngikhonza ngobuqotho empela wenze njalo nokhayini. He made every kind of offering that Abel did, but it was a wrong offering. Wenza lo ngohlobo lomnikeli Abel alwenzayo kodwa kwangungumnikelo okungesiwo. You might go to church and pay your tithes and Do your duty as a Christian or to just as sincere as any man or woman. Ungahlwe esontweni futhi ukhokho weshumi kwakho futhi wenze umsebenzi wakho njengalokho umkristo efanele ukwenza ngobuqotho impela nje njengaye wonke owehlisa kumbo esifazane. I stood here now for some 30 years around the city here and scream the same message. Sengime lapha manje iminyaka engamashumi amathathu kho edolobheni lapha futhi ngimemeza kakhulu ukuwona lomlayezo ofanayo. I'm getting old. I can't be with you too much longer. Senkukile, ngeke ngaba nani isikhathi esidaka kakhulu. But remember in the day of judgment my voice is recorded. No speak out against you. Kodwa khumbulani ngosuku lo kwahlulelwa. Iphimbo lami liqoshiwe futhi liyo khuluma limelane nani. There's only one place that God puts his name and that's not in a church but in Jesus. Yenye kuphela indawo uNkulunkulu abeka kuyo igama lakhe. Futhi lokho akusikho ebandleni kodwa kuJesu There's only one place of worship only one place that you are received and that is in the beloved Jesus Christ Yinye kuphela indawo yokukhonzela indawo eyodwa kuphela owemukelwa kuyo futhi leyo ikothandekayo uJesu Kristu There is not another name under heaven given among men whereby be saved Alikho lenye igama phansi kwezulu enikeziwe ebantwini osindiswa ngalo No church no creed no nothing 
Jesus Christ. And that's supposed to be the message of the hour to restore back the hearts of the children back to the faith that was once delivered to the saints. Won't you accept it tonight? And while we have our heads bound, and those who like to be remembered in prayer, would you just raise your hands? And we can't make an altar call, because it's just two men. God bless you. My, on my left, I guess it's 300. Now to my right, would you raise your hand and say, I want to be remembered? I guess he's 150 or more on my right. We have a tabernacle down here with a big pool of water. Pastor, fine, Pastor, Brother Armin Neville associates these men around here that you see in me. And I want to take one Every day, every night, every hour, people that wants to be baptized that's repented, it's always waiting. And if you obey that commandment, you are sure by a promise of God of your sincere in your heart to you receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Don't there's only one place of worship. Now that isn't in the tabernacle. That's in Christ. How do we get into him? By one spirit, we're all baptized into this one body. Let us pray. Dear God, as these hands went up, they signified what was beneath that hand in the heart. A conviction that they are sure they need help from you. I pray for each of them, Father. I'm going to quote your word. You said, He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me has everlasting life and shall not come to the judgment but pass from death unto life. Father, just being gone from the city a few weeks, come back, ask about this one. Why, well, they're gone. Baba and Jengobe and Bile to the penny, a mafig and balwa, Mabuya Mabuza, Marana Lona, Nani, Sebehan Bid. Oh, what about they're gone? Oh, Melena, Sebehan Bid. Dear God, one by one we are called. Ulugulotandegayo, Gamunya Munya, Siabis. One by one we have to meet the challenge to walk down through the valley of the shadow of death. And it's due to every one of us is marvels. But tonight you have offered us your petition that if we would believe on him and be baptized in his name that you would take us in. And then in this body, the body of Christ, not in the church, but in the body of Christ, that body has already been judged. It will not have to come to judgment. God poured out his wrath upon that body and that body is free from sin. And being in him puts us free from sin by his atonement that died for us. 
And in that we have fellowship with one another while the blood of Jesus Christ God's Son keeps us clean from all sin and defilement. Father God, I pray that you'll take each of them into your kingdom. Granted to God. May there not be a one of them lost. May there be not a boy or girl, man or Lord, some of my own people sitting here tonight that's out from under that blood. How well I can remember my daddy's words. And I pray, dear God, that none of them will be lost. Granted, Lord, I'm believing you now with all that I have to believe with. Move upon my brothers, sisters, my friends, here in this place tonight, out yonder by the phone. Several different states listening in all the way from the east coast to the west. I pray, dear God, way down the cross of desert, there in Tucson. Way over in California, up in Nevada and Idaho. Way over in California, up in Nevada Way over in the east and around, down in Texas. While this invitation is given. People sitting in little churches, filling stations, homes, listening in. Oh, God, may that lost man or woman, boy or girl, at this hour come to thee. Granted. Just now, we asked it in Jesus' name that they'll find this safety place while it is time. When we see the handwriting on the wall, the earth getting nervous, the time of deliverance is at hand. Part of our nation sinking. The other part rolling and bursting with earthquakes, as Jesus promised would be. Let it not be too long for them, Lord. May they accept it now. For we present them to you as trophies of the meeting of the gospel in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. How many believe that's the truth to my left? Raise your hand. How many to the right? Raise your hand. Some of you are in the right. God bless you. As far as I see everyone. That's truth, friends. God knows that's truth. Now, while in him, being in him, you have access to everything he died for. And what did he die for? He was wounded for our transgressions. Bruised for our iniquity. The chastenment of our peace was up on him, and with his stripes we were healed. 
Nanga mipi mboya yo sipilisi weti na Do you believe that? Nya ukoe loko na You believe in his atonement for healing now? Nya kole elwe kubui sane ni kwa kengo upulugi iso manje na Is there any sick among us? Let them raise your hand Right or left Ukoe kula upagati kwe tuna Mama paramei say is under zabo Eso gote no meso gnen Great crowds of sickness I can't call the line you see I haven't I can't come up on the platform, there's no way of doing it. Is it close to the school? And what's up with 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 the school? They're having prayer meetings out in the other places for the sick in the churches and things. Down the tabernacle. But I'm not going to be able to pray for the sick. I'm not going to be able to pray for the sick. I'm going to ask you something. How many believers is there? Raise your hand. All right? Ukona ngzo nibuza kona. Manga aga makono elikona na. I'm going to quote to you the word which is Christ. Jesus' life's commission to the world and to the church, rather. He said this. These signs shall follow them that believe. If they lay their hands on the sick, they shall recover. How many knows that's true? Mark 16, say amen. All right, I'm asking you as a believer to lay hands on somebody in front of you. Just lay your hands over on somebody in front of you and let each one pray a prayer for each other now. Put your hands over on somebody around you. Lord, here before me is a box of handkerchiefs, little pieces of goods. Some old mother laying somewhere, dying, a baby near death, sick people everywhere. We read in the Bible that they took from the body of Paul. Handkerchiefs and aprons. Si afunde pa peri nguti, ba tata mzimbeni kapa o la matu gune zinduangu. And they were placed upon the sick and evil spirits, and unclean spirits, and sicknesses and diseases departed from the people. Futi ba zimbega pezu kwa kula yo no moya babi, mimi moya ingoli le yo nuko kula nzee fuzi asuagbantu. Now Lord, we know we're not Saint Paul, but we know that you still remain Jesus. The only God provided place of worship. And now today these people has confessed their same faith as believing like those people did. Surely you have made a way for them. And I put my hands upon these handkerchiefs and ask that the diseases and afflictions leave the bodies of the people these will be laid on in the name of Jesus Christ. Now we are taught that as Israel was coming out of Egypt in the line of duty. They were on the road to the promised land. The Red Sea got in their way. And God looked down through the pillar of fire, and the sea got scared, rolled back, and let Israel pass to the promised land. Oh, God, look down through the blood of Jesus tonight and may the sickness roll back and Satan be cast out. Oh, Kulunkulu. And may the people pass to that promise of good health and strength that God set up of all things I wish you would prosper in health. 
Banga shulela kule so setembi so sempile ente nukina Unkulungulu ati Mapezu wa kogo onke ngini fisele kuba Ni pumelele empilwe Now as you see Lord, Lord Jesus The hands of these people laying on each other Manje jengo ba ubone la hapo Kosi chesu chesu Izanda zanababantu zibegwe pezu kwa munye no munye They are symbolizing their faith that you said these signs shall follow them that believe. Babona Galisa ngo kufanekisa ukukhola kwabo ukuthi wena wathi lezi zibonakalise ozi akubalandela abakholwayo. They are praying in their own way for one another. Bakhulela ngendlela yabo komunye nomunye. The next person's praying for them. Umuntu olandelayo uyabakhulekela. Now Lord, this challenge has been met that Satan the big bluff he has no right to hold a child of God. Maja kosi, letele lo, se kakatizu anena yoguti, usata ane mkwachi so mkulu, akana alilunga yolo kubamba, mduwa na kakulu mkulu. He is a defeated being. Uwe sita, alo ese suliwe. Jesus Christ, the only place of worship, the only true name, defeated him at Calvary. Uchesu Christi ndawa kupela konzela. And we claim his blood right now that he defeated every sickness, every disease. And I call for Satan to lead this audience in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of this people and they be made free. Gibiza kuba usatane alishiyele zetameli Geka malika Jesu Christu Puma kila babantu futi bakululege Everybody that accepts your healing Upon the basis of the written word Wangu mtu mugela Ukupulungi so kwa bao pezu wezi segelo Zezu elochiwe Make your testimony by stand to your feet And say I now accept my healing In the name of Jesus Christ Rise up to your feet Yes I pass bako Uguma ngez nyao zako basuti Manja nga mugela ukupulungi so kwa mi Eka mendiga chesu kristu Suguma ngez nyao zako Praise be to God There you are Nama tuyo zungkulu mkulu Nako lapo okona Watch over your cripples and they ain't getting up Praise be to God. That's it. Just believe he's here. How wonderful. Out in the audience on the outside by the wires, you should see. I think every person in here, as far as I know, or most of them are standing up at this time. Oh, what a wonderful time. The presence of the Lord. That's what, where the presence of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is freedom. Spirit of God makes us free. Now that He has healed us, we believe it. He saved us, we believe it. Maya Jango Guba, as a Sindhi Sile, Sakukolo, Usi Sindhi Sile, Sakukolo. Those who want to be baptized, the pool is ready. Labo Funa Papatiswa, Ikibi Salilungile. Any time, any hour that you want to come, there'll be someone there to attend to it. No money, no money, Lippi Ora, Ofunuguza Nala, Ukona, Ozo Linaga. And now I think before we close, we ought to sing an old hymn of the church. I love him, I love him because he first loved me. Futimanje, Yatabanga, Sarabali, Fadesi Tule, who will it tell a Lebanda, Yam Tanda, Yam Tanda, and won't in a call. Raise up our hands to God and sing it with all of our hearts. I'm saying, I love it too. We want to meet you here in the morning at 9.30, the same building, for the subject of marriage and divorce. All right, let's sing it now together. I... Let this great audience sing that now. Let us at Tamaras and Kula as it Kula Lelo Manji. We're out on the wire, sing it also. Laying upon dancing the Gwenny, little and the foot. Because he first loved.
Where was it done? On Calvary Street. Ngoba wangitanda gokala wangtengele sende so empty ne Calvary. Kwezo ago pina empty ne Calvary. While we sing it again, I want you to shake hands with somebody around you. Say, God bless you, pilgrim. Se salto la foto, de frente cá o lado, não há gua outro. Um cunho lá que você se sabe. Is he your hiding place? He's a rock in a weary land, a shelter in the time of storm, the only refuge I know. Therefore, my faith looks up to thee, thou Lamb of Calvary, Savior divine. Now hear me while I pray, take all my guilt away. Let me from this day be holy night. Let's raise our hands as we sing it. My faith love to Now while we hum it, oh, call a when I wound the last calvary. Oh, Oh, While life's dark maze I tread and grief around me spread. Bound, our beloved pastor, Brother Armin Neville, will 
Nisakota misa makanda enu umfundi suwe tuotande gayo umfuetu omen neville uzo kipa ize tameli.